So this morning, talking about a mother, you may say, well, Brother Teacher, what is a mother? A mother is a female parent, not just the one that gives birth to a child, but the one who raises the child. When she raises the child, she is in the parenting for the long haul. You see, a mother is responsible for the emotional, social, and intellectual development of a child from its infancy to its adulthood. Amen? Amen. A mother is part of a parenting team All right. that helps develop skills and cultural values that will benefit the child in society. A mother helps the child develop emotionally by interaction with the child so that the child understands what's expected of him or her and that there is a reaction on every action. All right. Amen. Amen. See, a lot of children don't realize that their actions are going to cause a reaction. Mm -hmm. You know, child goes up and, and slaps somebody or spits on somebody, that action is going to cause a reaction from the parent. Amen. It should if it does. Or if they're in school, it's going to cause a reaction from the principal. So a mother should already be to taught that child what's right and what's wrong. That's right. You know, but a lot of mothers don't know what's right or wrong with this. Come on. Because a lot of mothers are children. <coughs> of they are. So how can they teach another child? That's right. You see, a mother is in the child rearing business for the long haul. A mother is going to tell you what thus says the Lord. Whether you're five years old or 45 years old, you're still mother's baby. Amen. A mother is one church that trusts and believes in God. She Amen. is not just a carrier of a fertile egg until time for birth, but she is one that prays to God to give her strength and wisdom to raise her child in the way that God wants him or her to go. Man. A true mother, I'm not just talking about one that has, has a child, I'm talking about a true mother is not concerned with how the world says she should raise her child, but she follows the word of God to lead her in the way that she should go. All right. A true mother puts everything in God's hands and asks that God's will, not hers, be done. And this is evidenced to us, church, by a, a sister of mine. Her name is Sister Hannah. And we can turn and see some things about her in 1 Samuel 1, 1 through 28. And also 1 Samuel 2, 1 through 3. We're talking about Hannah. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 through 28. Remember, we're talking about a true mother. Amen? Amen. Not just somebody that carries a head for a while, but we're talking about mother. All right. We're talking about mom. We're talking about this car. All right. Uh, to put something on you when you're wrong, <laughs> but to hug you when you're right. All right, amen. That's what it is. That's what it is. See, that's mine. And it reads, Now there was a certain man of Ramathion, Zophon, of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elohim, the son of Tobi, the son of Zuth, and Ephrathite. And he had two 
wives, the name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other, Helena. And Helena had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hashanah, and Pelina, the priest of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Pelina his wife, and to all her sons and daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a word of portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her soul, for to make her pray, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why feedest thou not? And why is thy heart grief? And now I better to be than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in shadow, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by the post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept. So, before I go on, I want to just say this. A true mother, even before that is a child, is praying to the Lord and asking God to fix everything and to make a way for them. And she bowed her vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou would indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. See, when we want something from the Lord, you got to promise God something. All right. You know, this this is the happen. She promised the Lord, the Lord, if, if you just give me the child, mm -hmm. she made a vow to God. Amen. And see, that's the same thing mothers of the day have to do. You know, you can't just go over to, to John's house and spend the night and lay there with him, and, and the next nine months you got a baby that you got to take care of. All right. You know, what you got to do is you got to pray to God. Yeah. For God to give you the right man in your life, then when the two of you are married, then you can start to produce some children. All right. Man. And it came to pass, as she continued what praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. That shows you how people be watching you. All right. See, Eli was looking at the woman's mouth. He didn't know what was in her heart. He's just seeing her mouth working and he don't hear no words. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunk. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunk? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. I'm going to say that again. But have poured out my soul before the Lord. 